straightforward. All right. Go to myfoxdc.com. We'll get to all of them from there. What can be more of a headache than getting stuck in traffic? Well, some people might tell you it is belonging to a homeowners association. Claudia Coffey is live in Montgomery County now with more on why they stir up so much emotion in homeowners. Claudia, good morning. Good morning, you're very just mentioning, you know, the words homeowners association. I think I can like hear the groans and the moans out there. Yeah, a lot of people when you mention homeowners association, they kind of compare it to something maybe they've had a bad situation and to kind of put this all in perspective because we're going to be talking about this all morning long. Let's put it in perspective. Let me give you some stats here. 69% of people who are part of a homeowners association would describe it as quote a major headache or a minor annoyance while only 24% label their situation and their relationship with the homeowners association homeowners association is just okay so a lot of people yes do have problems with their homeowners association but when you really get down to it many people just don't know the hoa rules until there's a problem you work hard save enough money buy the home of your dreams and everyone lives happily ever after until one day your homeowners association starts world war three over something as petty as landscaping or a fence. The HOA can file a claim against the homeowner for any type of dispute under the covenants. That could be a garage that's built improperly, the type of car that's in your driveway, the fence that you have, and the flowers in your landscaping. More than 50 million people live in an HOA governed community. Still, there's very little we know about them. So here's the 10 things, according to bankrate.com, your HOA won't tell you. First, they're more secretive than the CIA, but legal analyst Wayne Cohen says they must give you the rules. When you buy a home, the HOA must give you the covenant for the restrictions for that community. It's a requirement. Number two, when in doubt, we sue. Well, the HOAs have the covenants or the rules for the community, and if you don't follow them, then they can fine you and put a potential lien on your property, and that's where they hold all the power. Secret three, we're in way over our heads. Most of the people that sit on HOA boards are volunteers. And when you have volunteers who aren't getting paid to fulfill their duties, there's a big opportunity for problems to happen. And lastly, if you find the HOA in the wrong, good luck winning your case. Well, filing a lawsuit is very expensive. So the individual homeowner would have to have the financial resources to go out and hire a lawyer and then file the lawsuit. It doesn't happen a lot. All right, if you're counting, the fifth secret is we work for nothing but we get compensated in uh, you know, other ways. According to bankrate.com, they say that, as, you, as we mentioned there in the story, that so many people that are on these boards are volunteers. However, they are friends with roofers and contractors, et cetera, and they're able to get them jobs working within that community, and they're able to get their money that way. That is, of course, according to bankrate.com. For uh, all the secrets, including the uh, remainder of that list, the other top five, all you have to do is go to our website, myfoxdc.com. Coming up next hour, we are going to focus on, say you want to take on the HOA, we're going to get a little free legal advice coming up next. Back to you guys. All right. See you at 7, Claudia. Thanks. On